Thanks. Well, thank you for the opportunity to perform for you today. I thank you for sticking around and, and hearing this part of the concert this afternoon. I especially thank the students who come out on a uh, Sunday afternoon. It's not always an easy time to put together a performance, but uh, they're here and they're able to sing and play for you. I hope you enjoy what uh, sampling of uh, our music program you get to hear today, especially in light of the fundraiser for a tsunami and earthquake relief. If you really think about it, we are, are living in a blessed time and in a blessed land where there are many people who suffer uh, in a number of ways and we have the privilege, especially as students and, and teachers every day, of, of sitting in class and making music. It's a great privilege and a great blessing and it's a privilege to share it with you, some of what we've been working on. We begin with the traditional song. This is my advanced choir, by the way, and uh, we've been working, uh, actually they took first place at the festival that we sang in back in uh, April. Marvelous job. So we begin with the traditional song, How Can I Keep From Singing? <laughs> program is study music from the past and in choral music, music from the past includes American folk music. It's part of choral literature and a lot of those uh, songs from the past are spirituals. Uh, they're part of our actual music heritage, our music history and it's kind of an awkward thing because we're in a public school and we're singing spirituals but the reality is that's what we are as Americans. That's our heritage, that's part of our music history and so we get to sing that uh, and and learn about life that uh, people endured and why the spirituals and what they sang meant so much to them. This is a modern arrangement of a traditional spiritual called All My Trials. 
this track, it runs to heaven and right back. Every time I
right, I'm going to at this time dismiss our course. Thank you very much for performing for us, and we'll make the shift over to the instrumental side. Kentuckyish, didn't it? Three of you agree. Very good. Like that on Facebook. I'd appreciate it. Next, we're going to be doing uh, the second movement from the English Suites that will be performed at festival this year, featuring the soloist Michael Trejo on the trumpet.
of the moisture in the air and then the room warming up, we're having a little bit uh, difficulty keeping our instruments in tune. So if you stop the tune a lot, we beg your forgiveness on that. Now, if you were to come to a football game at Wheeling High School, or a basketball game for that matter, uh, you would find this group playing as the symphonic band and the pep band. And one of the things that is a constant for us in the pep band is this particular song, which we play while the football team is taking the field in preparation of winning the BBL title, which they did this yeah. year, by the way. Yeah. And um, as a school, we are far above gloating over such things as the two victories we had over Sutter this year. So we just take that with a grain of humility, and we don't gloat in how well all the sports teams have done. In fact. Check out the school webpage and find out that what our track team, center tennis, and um, baseball, softball, baseball, they're all like BBL, we have BBL champs all over the place. So, yeah. so come to a game and I guarantee you you will hear this after we tune. <laughs>
close our concert in this evening. Grateful that you have attended and enjoyed the show with us with uh, what has become probably one of the band's favorite symphonic pieces, a little piece called Critical Mass. Any further announcements you want to make? Or? Go Pirates. Go Pirates. Go Pirates. Go Pirates. Go Pirates. Go Pirates.